Hey everybody, Chris and Mary Coast here, and in this video, I'm going to tell you all about the word shower. And you probably think you know what this word means already, but you don't. So in this video, I'm going to tell you exactly what it means and how you can use it in different ways. Let's get started. Okay, so probably you know a noun, a shower, right? Like a thing. And it might be a thing that you have in your house, or maybe you have something else that's similar to a shower. Maybe you have a bathtub. A bathtub or a shower. Usually that's where we wash ourselves, right? So we can say that a shower is similar to a bath. Um, a shower might be the thing, like this place where we clean ourselves, where we wash ourselves. But a shower can also be one act, one action of going to this place, turning on the water, and then washing ourselves, right? This is also called a shower. And usually we say to take a shower or to take a bath, right? So this is this process of cleaning ourselves or it's the place where we do this. But shower has another meaning too. A shower sometimes means a period of rainfall. Yeah, when it rains outside, sometimes we can call this a shower. For example, if you watch the news on television or on the internet and you want to find out what the weather will be like in your city, maybe the person on the news says, today we expect showers. And this means some short periods of rain. Usually it's a short period. But that's not the only meaning of shower. We can also say things like a shower of gifts. A shower of gifts. Yeah, and a shower of gifts is when somebody gives you lots of gifts or somebody uh, gives you lots of something. Not only gifts, you probably know what a gift is. Usually you get a gift when you have a birthday or you get a gift when you uh, have some kind of event. Uh, a gift is like a present, right? Gift and present, these two words are very similar. They're synonyms. So we can say that he gave her a shower of gifts. And this means not just one, but many. Gifts are just falling out of the sky like rain. <laughs> now, when we use the word shower as a verb, it has a little bit of a different meaning, right? Um, it's about something falling, and maybe we get lots of this thing. But usually we use it like this, just to shower, right? To clean ourselves, like to take a shower or to take a bath. So we can say that every morning, she showers. Or we can say showering is an important part of our life, right? We're using it as a gerund there. But so the verb is to shower. But we also have the verb to shower someone with something. Like, for example, he showered her with gifts. He showered her with gifts. Shower someone with something. So this is an important difference to understand. Our first example, to shower or to take a shower. This is an intransitive verb. We call it an intransitive verb because the action of the verb does not go, does not move to another person or another thing. We can just say, I shower, or he showered, right? And he just does this to himself. He doesn't do this to another person. The action does not move to another person. But when we say to shower someone with something, the action moves to the other person, right? And this is called a transitive verb a transitive verb. A transitive verb is when the action moves to another person or thing, and an intransitive verb means the action does not move. 
So I hope that helps you understand the difference between this intransitive verb, to shower, and this transitive verb, to shower someone with something. And I also hope this video helps you understand the differences between the noun shower, right? We have a shower like a bath, a shower like a period of rainfall, and we also have a shower of gifts or other things that someone gives us a lot of, right? Like they're falling out of the sky. So, uh, great, thank you so much for watching this video lesson. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure you press like, press subscribe, and write a comment down below. I'm also going to add the link under this video for you to join my free seminar where I'm going to tell you how you can learn better English and speak better English in just 30 days. Yes, you can. All you have to do is follow the steps that I give you. So the link is under this video. Go join that free seminar right now. And thanks again for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.